We pray everything this morning. Ah, okay. So you, and it usually takes mm. one day to finish? Yeah, it takes uh, just nice. a day. Very nice. Uh, if uh, there's no problem of water, yeah. it will take us uh, four to five hours to finish. Wow, uh, that's up great. Up to 45 or above that meters. 45 meters, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. is the first one that uh, goes down. This is the first one you start with yeah, this, this one. Yeah, we are, we are to start with this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one that cries, that drill. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Whenever it caught. Yeah. Whatsoever it comes, then it come, comes out. It, and it remains inside, it comes out? No, it comes from... We are working a hole. Yeah. Being that it, it goes around like this. Yeah. On the movement of the water, Yeah. all what we caught comes out with uh -huh, the water. With the water. With the water. So it's, it's drawn out by the, the water. The water goes here. Uh-huh. From here, the, uh, the picking pump will take uh, the water. Yeah. From there, it gives to this uh, yeah. hose. Yeah. From the hose, it comes to the swivel. Ah, uh, into the swivel here. Yeah. This, this is the swivel. Mhm. Mm mhm. You can see it. It's moving. Uh, okay. Yeah. From now, the swivel gives to the drilling rod. Yeah. From the drilling rod now, it comes now up. Ah, so it comes up around the outside of the well. Well, of the uh, well. Up outside of where you're drilling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, on process of drilling. Mm -hmm. It's just like the machine. Absolutely, just It's the just like the machine. Yeah, but yeah. This one is manually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is manually. Yeah. On process of drilling, then when the water is going down like this, yeah. Not that it goes down. When it's going down like this, all what we cut will come will not come out. Yeah. But when we are going like this, yeah. You see, the water is turning up like this. Yeah, yeah. All what we caught comes out. Yeah. Does it sometimes get stuck and you have to take the whole equipment out? Yeah, when uh, at times we, when, when you come to a clay. Aha, uh -huh, okay. If you meet a clay, yeah. there's some hard clays. There's some clays that they are slippery. Yeah. When you come to that ones, it blocks the the beads the be uh -huh. the drilling beads whenever this thing happens we remove all drilling rods out then we see, we remove the the clay that blocks uh, the drilling beads then we re mm -hmm. we put it again mm -hmm. then we continue drilling whenever we now these three three point something meters three point ten three point seven mm -hmm. Okay, when it goes down, one process of drilling, we at times we take our sample a meter, at times we take three meters. When this whole drilling was going down, we take a sample, we put it. Aha, uh -huh, so you, you collect samples every yeah. three meters? Every three meters. So every time you add a new we, rod? Yeah, whenever we add a drill rod, yeah. we take another sample. Yeah. Yeah. There's some uh, at times we take every meter sample. Uh -huh. At times. Okay. And why do you take sometimes every meter, sometimes every three meters? It depends on the if we just feel like. Because if you take uh, three meters, you take one meters, it will give you almost the same thing. Uh -huh. Because it's the same soil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on, instead of we. We, instead of carrying, uh, taking a uh, meter, meter, we prefer, okay, when yeah. it goes down, we know that instead of uh, the 3.10, 3.6, we always go, we go direct to 3 meters. Now, if we have 10, we know that we are now 30 meters yeah. drilling. Uh -huh. It also helps you with the drilling because you can count how many samples how you many have. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever we do all this is, if you put, if you drill up to 30 meters, that is the 10 drilling rods. Whenever you come to, uh, when you are fixing the PVC thing, you are, you, are, you are now lowering the PVC. Now when you are lowering this thing, if you drill uh, 30 minutes, on process of lowering, you will get up almost 
32, 33. Yeah. Why? Because the point seven, point ten, point one that it counts. Ah, because each pipe is a little bit longer yeah, than three meters, three point ten. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So because of the connections, actually. Thank you. Yeah. So of that, then you see now, if not because of the bead, rolling bead. That every day in uh, day in day out that we're working is uh, becoming shorter. It's, before it's almost uh, fifty centimeters. I uh had -huh, this part here. This, mm -hmm. this one. The bit. Yeah. Bit. Being the day to day, the doing. Uh, it it gets, uh, it worn, gets away. worn away. Uh -huh. Now you see. If you see now, we just cut it. Are you so you actually recut it here yeah. on site? Yeah. Or you do it in the no, workshop? No, I, I, I do it. Uh -huh. I you do it, it yourself. Yeah. 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 So you recut it, yeah, I will and then you can it. keep using it as yeah. it gets shorter. Yeah. Now, if it comes up to this uh, side, yeah. We now cut it out. Yeah. Then we buy another one. Yeah. Yeah. So how many wells can you drill with one of these? It will drill uh, almost uh, 20 to 25 uh, wells. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Well, I, I, I call it uh, casing. Every, the, anyone that comes to me. This is, this is screen. This way, whenever we come to when we get our, our aquifer from the aquifer that we got we just select the best aquifer that we get now the first casing that goes is the sump is the, the sump. sump the sump yeah aha yeah. Uh -huh, you've already prepared it mm -hmm. we prepared it it's 1.5 meters mm -hmm. now we have already cemented it there's cement in the bottom. We cement the bottom. Mm -hmm. Normally, you have to cement it. You mm -hmm. leave it for uh, at least 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, we did so. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the first thing that we goes down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the sump, the screen will come out. Mm -hmm. will so you've already follow. attached the screen to the yeah, sump. We are now, we have now already attached the screen to the sump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the second screen that we come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The second screen that we come. After the second screen, now no. the blind casing will come out. And there we continue lowering, we continue lowering up to the, to the deepest of the hall. Up to the deepest of the hall. And from there is from the lowering. When you finish lowering, is there you will know exact how many meters you drill. Yeah. Because now, on process of uh, starting drilling, we are starting from up, going down. Whenever we are lowering, now we start counting the meters from the from the bottom up, where you give exactly exact what you get from your drilling, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how many meters you drill. How many casing that you uh, you low down? Then at least you leave at least something of fifty centimeters up above the ground level. Yes, above mm -hmm. the ground level. From there, excuse me. Surface of the fan. Now you just measure it. Take your 50 centimeters away. Mm -hmm. You then cut it. Now, you now, uh, you remove from here this 50 centimeters above the ground. Then you can kill. You, you just have to do the calculation. Calculate, yeah. Then you know that, okay, now I'm, I have these meters. Mm -hmm. Then it gives you exactly the mm -hmm. meters that you drill. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you cannot make measure from here 
down because mm -hmm. this one is not in the on the ground mm -hmm. you only start from the surface yeah 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 you have to subtract the distance yeah, from the top so you know exactly yeah, how exactly far right, yeah. 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 you just suspend it yeah, yeah. thank you thank you yeah. now the next thing to do is to now start putting all this in the pump aha uh -huh. This is the pump. The cylinder? Yeah. And this is an India Mark II? This is the cylinder India Mark II. Mm -hmm. This is the galvanized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One quarter. Mm -hmm. We have the connecting rods. Mm -hmm. It's already tied on it. Mm -hmm. Aha, they're all, it's already all together. All yeah. together now. Yeah, well, it has We're, to be. Okay. They are now six meters. Yeah. If you just... Le remove this one, you have six meters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because every galvanized is three meters mm -hmm. with a connecting rod of three meters. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so, you attach them together. Now, you come to your installation. Yeah, there's the the third, the selection leg, you just put it. Mm -hmm. After finishing all, you just take the water tanker. There is the water tanker. Mm -hmm. You attach the water tanker on it. When I attach the water tanker, the connecting rod goes up with the water tanker. It goes above the water tanker. Yeah. So in, inside, where, where's the head, the pump head? That's the pump head. Ah, it's packed over there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We just uh, pack it there, yeah, yeah. we are now reserving the water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After we finish it, yeah. we just uh, take it and use it. So, the, so you were saying they have the rod is above the water tank? Uh, above mm -hmm. the water tank. Now you take the axle. You take the axle. All the water tanker, you just measure here, like this. Oh, okay, yeah. You measure it, you make a sign on it, then you just lift it up, you have a clamp for it. Uh, okay, that's the clamp rod. That's the clamp rod. You clamp it. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. You clamp it, then you cut it. <laughs> when we cut it, you retreat it. You re-thread it. Yeah. yeah. When you retreat it, you make sure that you the bolt that you are, you are you are cutting to it goes freely. Then you when you put the uh, the knot on it, you take your chain. You tied your chain on. When you tied your chain, now you just take the hand. Yeah. Then you attach the chain to the lever here. When you finish all this finish attaching all these things now you start pumping so you do you do any development before you install we, the pump we, 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 we do that's why we have our own generator we have our mm -hmm. small small pump yeah that we develop with them we develop it so you develop it before you install be, be, before this the yeah with the sub, using the submersible we, we, pump we use a submersible pump yeah of uh, 0 0.75 mm -hmm. kV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, our generator that we developed with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can have a look uh, mm -hmm. on this small, small pump. Yeah. Pump of testing. 
Okay. Is zero point seventy five. Mhm. 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 Now the security cable of it. That is your sim board. Yeah. So that is security. That is the cable. Yeah. And how long do you take to develop? Let's say in this area around in this area Domina. we take at least uh, four hours. Four hours to four develop. Hours to see that the water is clear. It's clear. So you, you just keep, you, you, do you we do any surging or no, you no, just no, no, pump? No. We just start the, the generator. Yeah. Then this one we just uh, give out the water. It will keep on working up to four hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why we here in Jamena, people always come to us. Yeah. yeah. Because we always do what is correct. Mm -hmm. What we work on the procedure of UNICEF. Aha, the, 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 the standards that have been developed. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why we, almost all the organizations, if they come here, they have to come to us. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we have our technicians, we have everything. We don't have, uh, we don't use or take uh, gravel parking, depends on the aquifer that we get. The gravel parking is at there just like this, you just take them, you come with them like this. But in Nigeria, we were drilling, you would drill all, you see the type of aquifer that you get, it's from there you just go, so now look for the gravel packet. What type of aquifer do you have? Mm -hmm. Is it the, the grow aquifer formation? Is it the small sandy mm -hmm. aquifer? Mm -hmm. It depends now. Mm -hmm. For you now, okay, it's, it's, it's the grow ones. You have to go for at least for the grow grain. Yeah, the big, the big the grains. Ones, yeah. Yeah. Now if you turn also uh, on the little the sandy yeah. aquifer yeah. you have to look for the screen the smaller the smaller, smaller slots. screen mm -hmm. now then if you go to the smaller screen you go to the smaller aquifers mm -hmm. uh, gravel parking mm -hmm. but here we don't do this the gravel parking is they just put it in a, in a bag yeah. You just go and buy it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you don't, you don't sieve it. You don't make sure of no, a certain they, size. No, they, they, they always, uh, they finish everything. Yeah. If we come, what we do? Uh -huh. When we just lower the casing down, yeah. we start now making the, the gravel the, the pack at the same time, or yeah, yeah, yeah. as you've as you've lowered it down, uh, then you. No, yeah. Whenever you lower yeah. it down, then somebody will just. Hold the yeah. casing down. Yeah. Then you you just put it little, little, mm -hmm. little. From there you see when it goes down. When it goes to the screen, you see that the water in the casing is coming out. Now you continue putting. You continue putting. Mm -hmm. When the screen is now full enough, you see. The water is bubbling up. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. It is yeah. bubbling up. When now the screen is all freely full of, you see that the water will go down. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. that tells you that now your screen is full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, not every company in here used to measure the gravel parking level mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they don't know exactly how mm -hmm. how much they have uh, put and how much meters left because mm -hmm. if you do this you have to block it after on top of the gravel pack okay, yeah. mm -hmm. and what do you use to block it yeah we like we, we use uh, cement cement yeah okay and how do you get the cement right down okay. there we yeah, okay we have the cement here now yeah right, us, right now for it was mm -hmm. we mix it but we don't mix it with a lot of water mm -hmm. at least somehow harder mm -hmm. so that when we put it it goes down directly mm -hmm. 
And you install it through a pipe? No, it's behind the, the cache. Yeah, yeah. Just like the gravel pipe. Yeah. It goes yeah. behind the mm -hmm. cache. Mm -hmm. When now we, at least, being that we have the experience, we measure at least a meter, or two, uh, 1.5 or 2 meters. Okay. And how do you measure that? Okay. When, when we measure it, with uh, connecting rods. Mm -hmm. We put the connecting rod outside. Yeah, outside, just like this. Now we have our hole like this. This our hole. Let's see this. This our hole. Huh? Mm -hmm. This our hole. Now we just now put our casing. Mm -hmm. This is the casing. This place that left is where the gravel packing comes. This is our song. Mm -hmm. This is our screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see the gravel packing will at least come up to this level. Why? Because on process of pumping, it will get a space, then it comes up to like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that it will not go down. Yeah, it's a little bit higher than the screen. It is mm -hmm. higher, higher than the screen. That's why whenever we are putting the gravel pipe in, we put it above. Mm -hmm. So that whenever we are pumping, it will settle down. Mm -hmm. Then it comes to a level. Yeah. When it comes to a level, okay. Now, we now just put our this in, okay. Now we have, we have a, say, 1.5 meters. Some six meters screen. Then, how many meters do we do? Uh, we drain? Yeah. Then we do the, cal the calculation. Okay, you minus those ones mm -hmm. from the ones that you minus. Now you get exact how many meters left for you. <coughs> now you just okay. If that's it, okay. You calculate, you just do, do a calculation. Is this horse, are they grown enough? Are they bigger enough? If they're bigger enough, okay. You just do the mixing. At least two whole barrels. With whole barrel, uh, two sandy of whole barrel. One gravel, mm -hmm. then we mix it, mm -hmm. we put it. Mm -hmm. At least we give us two meters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. After we finish this one, we just put this sand. Now, when it comes above, we leave almost 2.5 or 3 meters. Then we cement it again. Aha, uh -huh. so between the, where you finish putting the sand San and the ground uh, level. Yes. That's your sanitary seal. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's how we are we doing it. Uh -huh. see, you see what, we're, uh, what I'm explaining to you before? If you just, just take this sample, it just gives you the same way. So instead of like, taking the same things, yeah. why, do, why not we leave it at the end of three meters? Yeah. yeah. So when will they take the sample? They will take yeah. the sample now? Yeah, any moment from now we'll take the sample. What? What then? Lay on the top. Okay. Oh, cool. You know why I don't do this thing? Yeah. Huh? So that it gets free. Otherwise, it can get buried, it gets yeah. stuck. Yeah. It's just like the machine. Ah, I don't see that. Ah, I don't Thank you. 
very soft sand. Yeah, very. Now, nobody is wearing any helmets. Why? Okay, we have it. But yeah, nobody will hear from all this is. Nobody knows the risk of all this is. And have you you talk to them? You tell them? We have them. Okay. Even you, you don't wear helmet. Just okay. What this? What I want to tell you. Now, just look at my security boot. <laughs> look it there. I'm now wearing canvas. Yeah. Yeah. I left this security boot. <laughs> 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 If you come to a place, you see that you cannot beat them, you join them. <laughs>